Hi there, it's James Jack from Biovia. Welcome to another presentation in this series of presentations I've been making about the uh, the different draw add-ins that I've written over the years. So this one is um, is going to be about the the radar chart add-in. Um, I'll, I'll get straight into it. So I've got a structure on the canvas already. If I go into the chemistry menu, I can pick uh, from calculators and go into radar chart. I'll generate radar chart. Um, so that's the, the radar chart. Um, I've got seven axes set up on this, so molecular weight, A log P, number of hydrogen donors, number of hydrogen acceptors, rotatable bonds, polar surface area, and stereo count. And all the properties that have been calculated are, um, I can hover on the, on the, on the chart and, and see what the values are, but they're also listed for me up here in this text. And it also tells me this hard-coded in, in the code um, the, the Lipinski rule of five, and so it will tell me if there are any violations, um, as long as there are the properties necessary to calculate the rule of five um, on the chart, obviously. Um, so yeah. So what can I do with this? You'll, you may notice there's this checkbox down here. Um, so this allows me to to recalculate as I draw. So I can go into the all-purpose drawing tool. And start to add things to the structure. You know, I could put a, a nitrogen on there, uh, and you see the the, the uh, calculations changing and being recalculated as I draw. Um, I can right-click here and add that text to the canvas if I want to to include that. So there, I've got all the properties that are recalculated. I can also uh, copy the chart, and then I can I can paste the chart onto the canvas. Um, There's also, um, oh, I just added some extra stuff at the top there, didn't I? Let's get rid of that. Okay, um, there's also some ability with this to uh, to configure what calculations are being run. And that's in a, a very important part of this add-in. Um, so if I right click here, um, I can, if I need to, I can force it to recalculate. So if I didn't have the, the recalculate as I draw checked, I could trigger recalculate there. Now, it can connect to Pipeline Pilot. So why would it want to do that? Well, if you have um, in the Pipeline Pilot settings, you can specify a folder where you can put specially designed protocols. I haven't, unfortunately, got any to show you. But um, with those protocols configured appropriately, they get added to the list of calculations that I'm allowed to run. So if I right click here and go into the settings, this dialog is where I can configure things. So if in this uh, in this particular demonstration, I've not added there's an, there's another mole weight calculation, so mole molecular mass. So I can add a calculation, and then I can choose from this list. And if I had a pipeline pilot uh, or one or more protocols configured, they would be listed in here. That would say pipeline pilot dash, and then the name of the protocol. But I can choose to add uh, molecular mass. Um, and then I can click OK. And we get a new uh, value added on there. So it just says mass. And obviously, this one I've, has been configured to between 0 and 10 um, for the acceptable range. If we wanted to make it between 0 and 500, for instance, we can do that. So you can set a sort of Goldilocks range where you want you want your uh, ideally what the properties of a, a, mo a molecule should be, be it for bioavailability or, or something else. So having done that, I, I go again. Now it's in inside the range and it's it's uh, it's all happy with that. The color changes gradually from green to red as axes uh, fall out of the acceptable range. Um, now, also in the settings. If you were observant, you'll notice there are two other tabs. So if I have some legacy Cheshire scripts that are calculating properties, and I really want to use them, they can be used in here. I can add um, new Cheshire scripts and uh, configure those to run in here. I'm not going to do that just now, um, but th there is a possibility there. Cheshire is, I believe, a, a legacy application now, um, but you may still have some scripts that you want to use, um, so you can and then also, just to make it completely 
configurable in terms of what it can connect to. There's an interface, um, a calculator interface, uh, which you can implement in a, in a .NET assembly. And then you can call out to some third party application that I haven't thought of, um, make it do something, grab a value back, and make that be the result of your calculation through uh, through this calculator interface. So it's it's really quite flexible in what it can do. Um, and that's that's uh, essentially all I've got to show. So if you if you're interested in this particular add-in, then uh, do give me a shout. Um, and it's uh, as I say, it's it's free, um, and uh, I'm happy to uh, to share it with you. Okay, thanks for listening.